Yeah, this is my new picture. I just drew this. Know what I mean? Oh, I forgot to draw that thing. I got to draw a sun thing on the head. The or whatever. The thing I ain't put them up. Somewhere in this part of the country is this cave. And in this cave, there is a very old, old woman. She's so old, she looks like she's ready to crack. She lives in this cave with her big black dog. In this cave is a fire that they keep burning all the time. And on this fire is the food that she's cooking for herself and this dog. But she's sitting there and she's doing quill work on this long strip for a robe. But when the fire looks like it's going to die down, she stands up, but she's so old, has a hard time getting up from the ground. She walks very slow and very slow picks up the stick of wood, very slowly takes it to the fire. When she gets up to get that wood, her dog goes and it rips out the quill work that she did. And then the dog lays back down. So by the time she comes back to her quill work from putting wood in the fire, she doesn't remember how far she did. So then she does the quill work again. This goes on and on and on. She does the curl work, has to put wood in the fire, is very slow, getting up, getting the wood, putting it in the fire. The dog goes over there and rips out what she did again. And according to the story, if she ever finishes that blanket strip, then the world will end. And I remember then somebody making reference to the fact that the world is not going to end because this Makankana and her Shunka, their dog, they will continue to do that unless something very, very drastic happens. I don't think it's going to happen. So my relatives, it has been the practice of all people to tell all the coming generations stories each generation learns something new. It seems to be the way of people that they will try to understand what happens in each generation, how that will help the people. Then these stories come into place, and then they are told so that people will live like human beings when they listen to these stories. It seems that that is the way that we should go, that each generation will carry something from the previous one that will make them become more civilized and more high-minded and able to be kind, gentle, and helpful to each other. That is the way it's supposed to be, and that is what we hope will be.